2020. People are begging for the cure of the one virus. Throughout the years, there have been so many The Simpson predicted eclipse. Hey guys, this is Ranch Jordan and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, start by subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you won't miss anything. Have you ever watched a cartoon that showed an outlandish depiction of the future only to be seen in reality a few years later? Do the writers of this show have some kind of magical power or a capability of foreseeing the future? Throughout the years, there have been so many The Simpson predicted eclipse that actually became a meme. While some of these predictions were rather eerie, one best example is that Donald Trump becoming the president of the greatest nation in the world. In one of the episodes in 2010, a secret conclave of America's media empires releases a deadly virus. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. That is... And that is to place the Americans back to where they belong. In dark rooms, glued to their televisions, too afraid to skip even the commercials. And here's how this clip eerily foreshadows COVID-19. I'd like to call to order this secret conclave of America's media empires. We're here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. Well, I think... NBC, you are here to listen and not speak. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health care. Uh, yeah. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. Now, I hate to be the guy who derails what everybody else loves. He loves being that guy. But, Janice, we do have standards. This can't be a made-up disease. The only moral thing to do is release a deadly virus into the general public. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Get over here, NBC. Uh, <laughs> well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. We've got our deadly disease. Now we just have to blame it on something that's in every household. Something that people are a little bit afraid of already. The episode begins with a chopper dropping off a fax news representative to a secret meeting taking place in a symbolic location. That symbolic location is the Statue of Liberty. The fact that the secret media cabal is plotting against humanity inside the Statue of the Liberty is symbolic in a sad way. Unfortunately, there's another weird fact. Corona means crown. Alex, it's not fair! Now let's go deeper into the story. After watching that clip, it really gave me the goosebumps. And as for me, the similarities were so uncanny. Well, in 2020, it's really hard for us not to think about COVID-19 when you hear all these infodemics all around us as in like, yes, every day. I get it. This is a new disease. Nobody's immune to it. And there is no cure, unfortunately. That means we don't have the capabilities yet to protect ourselves from it. As for media sources, this virus is here to stay all year round. Well, somebody must have perfected it. So as COVID-19 cases slows down in most part of the world, media, on the other hand, is cooking up something, and that is the fear of a second wave. Now going back to The Simpsons, another media representative says this cannot be a made-up disease. The only moral thing to do is to come up and release a deadly virus to the general public. So, they release the cat flu. So the news begins to accomplish its job, and that is to terrify the majority of the population. And a scary map was shown that cats 
are spreading all over the U.S. Furthermore, Kent Brockman, one of the fictional characters in Simpsons, a TV anchor, actually says, Center for Disease Disinformation. House cat flu is coming, people. The Center for Disease Dis... <laughs> now, this line is actually, it's like a slap on the faces of the CDC as they were grossly accused of overhyping epidemics such as H1N1 before. Then, here comes Brockman talking about a hypothetical projections with some degree of probability. This information predicts with some degree of probability that the house cat flu might spread in the following hypothetical outbreak pattern. So better be away. Now for me, this is one of the funniest sides of the media. They go straight to the most terrifying and catastrophic scenario, even though there is only a low probability. And this is causing panic and fear amongst all of us. And so, as the representatives of the masses, the Simpsons family immediately complied to the mass media. I don't know about you guys, but cat flu eerily echoes COVID-19. Hundreds of newspapers have already published or stated that cats can be infected with a virus that causes COVID-19. However, since the coronavirus outbreak, some of these clips have been raising major eyebrows. For instance, in an episode from 1993 wherein People were begging for a cure for the Osaka virus that originated from Asia. They are an attack by the killer bees. Gotta get a juicer, gotta drink juice, lose weight, won't get chest pain from answering the phone anymore. Please don't tell the supervisor I have the flu. I've been working with a shattered pelvis for three weeks. <laughs> to panic? Yes, I would, Kent. Stuff happens in the show is bound to be reflected in real life. 
And as for me, the similarities I've presented to you were too compelling. I leave it all up to you now, whether to believe it or not.